good afternoon everyone this is dr bupesh from dr bkm institutes once again and today we are going to execute this speaking task i haven't seen that today so i will see it for the first time let's see so suppose this is the task that is given to you as a nurse so there is uh, you are uh, present in accident and emergency department you are speaking to a 31 year old man or woman who is complaining of a severe headache and is demanding medication for the pain relief so basically there is a patient who is 31 year old and uh, she is in the accident and emergency department like she has come on the urgent basis and she wants some medication for the pain relief she is clearly distressed and seems to be in hurry to ye saaf saaf pata lag raha hai ki wo distressed hai yani bahut hi dukhi hai and she is in hurry so take a relevant history of the patient condition to aapko sab kuch pata pucha hua hai so agar hame onset puchna hota hai to obviously aap first of all aap yahi kahoge agar accident or emergency mein ho to maine aapko kaha hai hamesha first line to waise bhi hamesha likhni hai to good morning my name is this main bhi to hamesha likhta hu na to aapko bhi likhna hai good morning my name is this so how may i help you so this is the point so batayegi that this is i am having this and this to aap kahoge okay before uh, proceeding further i need to ask you some questions may i to ye question puchne se pehle aap kar sakte ho jab task chhota hai aur aapko zyada bolna hai aapko pata hai ki aaj task mein matlab aapke bolne ke liye kam hai lekin hame marks to bolne ke hi milenge to hame likhna chahiye before proceeding further i would like to ask you some questions may i is line ko yaad kar dena please acche se yaad kar lena Okay, of course you can ask me questions. So take a relevant history of the patient's condition, onset, triggers, and severity. So, आपको भी ये question one by one पूछने हैं. So onset का मतलब होता है कब शुरू हुआ? Could you please tell me? क्या आप मुझे बता सकते हो? वरना simple भी लिख सकते हो. Could you please tell me the onset of pain? ऐसे सीधा भी बोल सकते हो. कि कब होता है? कब शुरू हुआ? यानी कि हम पूछना तो एक्चुअल में ये चाहते हैं when, when did it start? अगर आपको अच्छे में में पूछना है आप ऐसे पूछ सकते हो वेन डिड इट स्टार्ट कब शुरू हुआ आपको और वेन डिड इट हैपन कब हुआ हैपन भी बोल सकते हो स्टार्ट की जगह वेन डिड इट हैपन सी या और भी अच्छा पूछना चाहते हो अगर इंग्लिश सिंस हाउ लॉन्ग हैव यू बीन हैविंग दिस पेन ये तो बेस्ट है से बेटर इंग्लिश नहीं हो सकती अगर बेस्ट पूछना चाहते हुए सिंस हाउ लॉन्ग हैव यू बीन हैविंग दिस पेन फिर वो कहेगा कि ठीक है ये पेन इतने इतने टाइम से चल रहा है तो आप सेकंड क्वेश्चन पूछोगे क्या आपने कोई ट्रिगर्स नोट किए हैं मतलब कर चुके हो प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट हैव यू नोटिस एनी ट्रिगर्स एनी ट्रिगर्स आई मीन कि आपने कोई इज देर एनी कुछ ऐसी चीज है जो आपके पेन को बढ़ाती है इज देर एनीथिंग दैट कॉजेस दिस पेन आपने कोई ऐसी चीज नोटिस की है जो इस पेन को बढ़ाती है हैव यू नोटिस एनी ट्रिगर्स तो ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट चीज है ये जब तक आप लिख के नहीं देखोगे आपको उतने अच्छे से नहीं लिखना बहुत जरूरी है यू नीड टू राइट फिर आप पूछोगे ओके प्लीज ऑल्सो प्लीज लेट मी नो ये वेरिएशन के लिए ऑल्सो प्लीज लेट मी नो स्वेरिटी ऑफ पेन मीन्स आर यू हैविंग माइल्ड मॉडरेट और सिवियर पेन पेशेंट कहेगा अगर मेरे को सिवियर पेन नहीं होता तो मैं इमरजेंसी डिपार्टमेंट थोड़ी आता मैं इमरजेंसी डिपार्टमेंट आया हूं तो पेन तो सिवियर है तो आप कहोगे ओके सो फर्दर आई वुड लाइक टू नो अबाउट द नेचर ऑफ योर वर्क लाइक वट काइंड ऑफ वर्क डू यू डू तो ये होगा हमारा इसके बाद का क्वेश्चन तो फिर आप बताओगे आफ्टर लिस्निंग टू योर आंसर्स योर प्रोविजनल डायग्नोसिस इज यहाँ पे सिर्फ इस वर्ड लगाना है योर प्रिलिमिनरी डायग्नोसिस इज ऑफ माइग्रेन विच इज प्रोबेबली ट्रिगर्ड बाई स्ट्रेस एज यू हैव टोल्ड मी दैट यू वर्क इन दिस एंड दिस एनवायरमेंट सो ऑब्वियसली यू आर हैविंग लोट ऑफ स्ट्रेस so that is what is causing this pain and it can be due to migraine persuade him her to wait for 30 minutes to see one of the doctor to so, suko 30 minutes rukna padega tabhi doctor milega 
और फिर वो कहेगा मैं डॉक्टर को क्यों मिलूँ आप ही मेरे को मेडिकेशन दे दो कह दो कि आपकी डायग्नोसिस के बिना हम आपको मेडिकेशन नहीं दे सकते सो so, अगर देखो इसको हिंदी में बोल रहा इंग्लिश में बोलो विदाउट कितना सिंपल होगा देखना विदाउट डायग्नोसिंग यू और अच्छा बोल लें तो सबसे पहले बोलो आई एम सॉरी टू से मुझे ये कहते हुए बुरा लग रहा है आई एम सॉरी टू से बट विदाउट डायग्नोसिंग यू वी कॉन्ट गिव यू एनी मेडिकेशन वी कॉन्ट प्रिस्क्राइब मेडिकेशन ओनली डॉक्टर कैन डू दैट विच विल एंड ही इज कमिंग सून विद इन हाफ एन आवर ही विल डायग्नोज यू एंड देन ही विल ट्रीट यू सो इतना छोटा सा आपका रोल प्ले होता है अगर सोचो आपको क्या बोलना है सिर्फ इतना और आप यूके न्यूजीलैंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया नर्स बन के जा सकते हो सिर्फ इतना सा बोलना ठीक है अगेन अब देखते हैं पेशेंट के बारे में अब हमारे मतलब पेशेंट के बारे में हमें पेशेंट को क्या क्या बोलने को कहा है थर्टी वन ईयर ओल्ड वुमेन है हेड है राइट साइड ऑफ फोर हेड पे अब द ईयर तो राइट साइड हेड है फोर हेड पे हेड एक स्टार्टेड थ्री वीक्स अगो तो जब आप पूछोगे वेन डिड इट स्टार्ट वो कहेगी इट स्टार्टेड थ्री वीक्स अगो कितनी बार होता है टू अटे हाउ मेनी टाइम्स डज इट हैपन टू टाइम्स इन अ वीक और एनी अदर डू यू हैव एनी अदर सिम्टम्स तो वो बताएगी कि पेन स्ट्रॉन्ग दैट यू कैनोट गेट एनी वर्क डन यू वर्क एज अ मार्केटिंग डायरेक्टर जब आप पूछोगे कुड यू प्लीज टेल मी द नेचर ऑफ यूर वर्क तो बताएगी मार्केटिंग डायरेक्टर हूँ तो बड़े स्ट्रेसफुल आवर्स होते हैं हमारे सनलाइट फ्रॉम यूर ऑफिस विंडो एंड स्टेयरिंग एट यूर कंप्यूटर स्क्रीन मेक्स द हेड एक मोर वर्स तो वो ये भी बता देगी मच वर्स कि कब कब वर्स होता है जब वो विंडो से सनलाइट आती है and sometimes even causes ringing in your ears so it is relieved by telenin or sleeping for 1 2 hours you have been increasingly stressed at work recently because you are behind the schedule with multiple projects coming you want to get back to work quickly for a meeting you have to come to the accident and emergency department to get medication from a doctor or a nurse you really don't care doctor they have medication mereko to medication chahiye so explain your concern wanting to leaving soon for a meeting ki aapki meeting hai aapko jaldi jana hai to patient ki ye problems hai respond the nurse question about your symptom and work to aap uske question ko ye patient ko task diya hota hai to patient pehle batata hai ki meeting mein jana hai to is as is tarike se task set up hota hai to aapko koi dikkat nahi hoti aur nurse possibility of migraine ke liye wo kahega ki nahi nahi mujhe to nahi lagta migraine hai to become irritated ki jab aap kahoge wait for the doctor to patient aapko irritation ke sath behave karega to ye patient ka task hota hai तो ये नहीं कि पेशेंट आपसे रूड बिहेवियर कर रहा है पेशेंट को ये दिया दिया हुआ है कि बिकम इरिटेटेड रिलक्टेंटली अग्री टू वेट फॉर थर्टी मिनट्स तो वो आखिर तक आपसे मानने का नहीं रिलक्टेंटली अग्री करेगा तो अगर आपका पेशेंट आपसे आसानी से मान नहीं रहा है तो वो उसका टास्क है तो आप प्लीज उसके लिए घबराओ मत आप अपने टास्क को अच्छे से करो जैसे हम एक्चुअल में क्लिनिक पे करते हैं मैं आपको बोल के दिखाता हूँ गुड मॉर्निंग माई नेम इज डॉक्टर बी के एम सो आई एम अर्स ओवर हेयर सॉरी डॉक्टर नहीं बोलना चाहिए था गुड मॉर्निंग माई नेम इज बी के एम आई एम अर्स ओवर हेयर so how may i help you well nurse i am here to take a medication i am having severe headache and i need really need pain relief medications so that i can go back to my work and for the meeting okay that's fine of course we will prescribe you the medication that there is nothing to worry but before uh, proceeding further i would like to ask you some questions related to your headache may i well yes nurse that's fine okay so first of all i would like to know regarding the onset of the pain so could you please tell me when did it happen or start for the first time nurse it happened like 3 or 4 weeks ago and uh, it's happening regularly okay so how many time does it happen in a week well it happens around two times in a week okay that's fine so have you noticed any kind of triggers like i mean is there anything that increases this pain well nurse i think it's the sunlight when it comes through the window and when i watch the screen then it happens okay so uh, one more question i would like to ask you is could you please tell me about the nature of your work like what kind of work do you do what is your designation and uh, whether it's, it is it stressful or not uh well now it is stressful i am working as a marketing manager this and this and this and there okay so after listening to you and uh, the way you have told me that you are having nausea wo sab kuch batayega so after listening to you that you are having nausea you know tingling sensation in your ears you are having uh, pain in your forehead so these all symptoms and you know which is exaggerated by sunlight these all symptoms obviously mean that you might be having migraine which is possibly triggered by stress but nurse i don't think so i have been taking stress for such a long time i am an ambitious lady 
and I don't care about stress. I don't think so. It can be migraine, and especially due to stress, I can't believe. So you need to understand the pain you are having is really severe, and you are having multiple symptoms which are related to migraine, like having nausea, vomit, and feeling of vomiting, then having severe headache, then you know, which is triggered by sunlight. All these are the common factors when it comes to migraine. So nurse, okay, give me the medication of migraine. I don't care if it is migraine. I have to go for a meeting. Give me medications. Well, I'm afraid to say I cannot give you any medications. So being a nurse, we are not the authorized person to give you medications. And also, I would like to tell you that without diagnosing you, we cannot prescribe any medication. So please understand. So what should I do? Well, please understand. You need to wait for the doctor. Doctor will be here very soon. He will uh, prescribe you the medications after diagnosing you. So I will hand over these notes to doctor and doctor will uh, read these notes, will examine you and uh, will let you know whether you are having migraine or not. Only after that, he will give you the medications. Okay, then I'll send the doctor. Well, doctor will be here within 30 minutes because he is attending some emergency patient and he's in operation theater and uh, he would be there in 30 minutes. But nurse, I can't wait for 30 minutes. I have a meeting. See, I understand that you have a meeting. But this is very important for you as you are struggling with migraine. So this will worsen your condition. So it is very important for you to wait for the doctor for 30 minutes. And it is for your benefit only that if you wait for 30 minutes, it would be beneficial. But nurse, I can't wait for 30 minutes. I don't know why are you calling it migraine? I don't think so. It's migraine. Well, I'm not saying that you are having migraine. Only doctor will diagnose it. But the symptoms you are telling me are related to migraine. So you need to wait for the doctor. And it is for your benefit. If you will wait, doctor will be able to diagnose you and can save you from these severe headaches. Okay, then I don't care, nurse. I just won't, I will wait for the doctor. But please tell him I'm waiting for him. Okay, I reassure you that there is nothing to worry. I have already told the doctor. The message has been sent. He's in the operation theater. So he's about to get free within like 15, 20 minutes. So maximum within half an hour, he would be here. So please have a seat, calm down and take and have deep breathing. Okay. Hello, right. Okay. Have a seat over here. Okay. Then uh, meanwhile, I'm here for you. And if you need anything, please let me know. And doctor is on his way. Okay, nurse. Okay. Take care. Aise aap role play bolte ho. Isko paper mein kaise bolte ho? Good afternoon. My name is Vikram. I am a nurse over here. So how may I help you? Well, nurse, this and this. Okay, don't worry. First of all, I would like to assure you that you will be getting the best services over here and there is nothing to worry. So as you are telling me that you are here with severe headaches, so could you please tell me like what is the onset of these headaches? Like when you started observing these headaches? Well, nurse, it happened like three weeks ago and it's continuously increasing and I'm really worried about it. Okay, so could you please tell me a little bit about more symptoms, any other symptoms that you are facing apart from the headache? Well, nurse, I'm having nausea, you know, which just get worse and I'm really worried. Okay, so have you noticed any kind of triggering factors that anything that increases this pain? Well, this sunlight and this and this thing. Okay, and one and last question that like, are you having any kind of severe pain, mild pain or moderate pain? Is it severe? Well, nurse, I've already told you it's severe. Okay, I'm sorry to ask you about that. Okay. I would like to ask you one more question, which is important, which is not related to your headache, but it is related to your work. What kind of work do you have? At what designation are you working? And also, I would like to know, is it stressful or not? Well, nurse, it is stressful. Okay. So, see, after listening to you and after, after getting to know that you are having a lot of stress at your work, so it seems like migraine and which might be triggered by stress. So in your case, it seems like that you are having migraine, but nurse, oh my God, like, I don't think so I can have migraine and you are, you're not making the right diagnosis. You don't know anything nurse. You just give me pain relieving medications then I will go. I'm afraid to say that we are not allowed to prescribe you any medications until the diagnosis and diagnosis can be made only by the doctor. So you need to wait here for 30 minutes. Well, nurse, I can't wait for the doctor for 30 minutes. As I've told you that headache is severe on the top of it, I'm here and I need to go to a meeting. So I'm already stressed. See, it is for your benefit only that you should wait for the doctor because if you will not wait for the doctor, your situation can get worse. Please understand doctor will diagnose you properly and will give you the right medications, which will help you in the long run. So please understand you need to wait for the doctor. 
but nurse i can't wait for the doctor i have already told you why are you irritating me you are making me this i'm really sorry it's just for your benefit that i am i'm telling you to wait because doctor is the right person appropriate diagnosis is very important to make the right treatment so if you want a good treatment then obviously you need to wait for the doctor doctors are experts they can give you the right medications after the right diagnosis so it is very important for you to wait for doctor for 30 minutes but why can't you call the doctor just now well see our emergency department is busy today and doctor is also busy with some operation so he's just going to get free within like 20 30 minutes so please understand okay nurse i okay then i will wait oh thank you for understanding the situation and he would be here very soon i have already sent the message so as soon as he gets the operation done he will receive your message and he will come over here so there is nothing to worry it is best to wait and to see your doctor Okay, and I reassure you that we all are here to help you and I am standing next to you by the time doctor comes. If you need anything, let me know. Have a glass of water and take deep breaths by the time doctor arrives here. Is it all right? Okay, all right, then take care. This is how you execute your role play in a very confident way and that will eventually come if you will practice. You will practice it. And if you say that this speaking will come, then you should listen to it three or four times. Now, just like you have listened to it, please half me don't leave half. मतलब जैसे आपने कल की जो वीडियो देखी वो 12 मिनट्स 45 सेकंड्स की ग्रामर वीडियो थी और वो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो थी और आप लोगों ने एवरेज उस वीडियो को देखा तीन से चार मिनट यानी या तो थोड़ा आगे कर करके देखा या सभी ने पूरा नहीं देखा वहीं पे तो हम मिस कर जाते हैं इंफॉर्मेशन को आदि अधूरी इंफॉर्मेशन इज डेंजरस जैसे हम बचपन में सुनते थे लिटल नॉलेज इज डेंजरस प्लीज ट्राई टू डिवोट टाइम टू दीज वीडियो दीज वीडियो विल हेल्प यू नाउ दिस वीडियो रिकॉर्डिंग विल बी अराउंड टेन मिनट्स बट इट कैन गेट यू द बेनिफिट ऑफ अराउंड लाइक होल ओ टी एग्जाम अगर आप इस वीडियो को पांच बार सुनो आपको डिफरेंट टाइप के क्वेश्चन पूछने आएंगे ये रोल प्ले बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है इसमें बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन है पूछने को तो आपको फ्यूचर में जब भी कोई क्वेश्चन वाला टास्क आएगा आपको दिक्कत नहीं होगी तो प्लीज ट्राई टू लिसन इट लिसन टू इट मल्टीपल टाइम्स एक बार सुनने से कुछ नहीं होता इसको लिख के देखो सुनो तब आपको बेनिफिट होगा एक बार सुनने से कुछ नहीं होने वाला आपको प्रैक्टिस करना पड़ेगा बोलना पड़ेगा साथ साथ वीडियो के लिख के देखना पड़ेगा टाइम स्पेंड करना पड़ेगा This is how it will happen. Time spent के बिना नहीं होगा आपको करना पड़ेगा अगर आपकी नेचुरल इंग्लिश स्ट्रॉन्ग नहीं है तो सो दिस इज डॉक्टर भूपेश फ्रॉम डॉक्टर बी के एम इंस्टीट्यूट सवर कॉन्टेक्ट नंबर इज सेवन सिक्स नाइन सिक्स सेवन थ्री फोर टू फाइव सिक्स नाउ आई विल टेक यूर डाउट थैंक यू